Back. If you need some cheering up on this rainy Friday, we've got just what you need. That's right. We have a cute little dog looking for a loving home. Good evening. I am here with Janet from Young Williams Animal Center, and as always, you bring a friend with you. Can you tell us about her? I did. This is Daisy. She's Hi, eight Daisy. years old. Beagle mix. Yes. So cute. Here, turn She's... around so they can see your cute face. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, you're such a good girl. She is. <laughs> she um. She is a sweet cuddle bug, and so she has a best buddy. Oh whose name is Lily, Love who is it. eight years old as well. Daisy and, and Lily. So they have to go together, but um, okay. they are just so cute. What a good girl. Sweet girl. How long has she been at this shelter for? Um, Not that yeah. long. Okay. Okay. So and which location? In case Division Street. Division so Street. Daisy and Lily together. Yes. They come as a pair. Don't break them up. Oh, yes. so cute you are. Okay, so she's yeah, she's she's such a sweetie pie, and she sits on command too, just so you all know at home. All right, so um, it's cold. It, it's it's that time of year when temperatures are dropping below freezing overnight. I've said this continuously um, on air over the last several weeks. If your pet does not have adequate shelter, right. they need to come inside. So what uh, what do owners there, need to do? There are we have local ordinances that support this. Um, so below 32 degrees, and okay. really it's about you know if we're cold, they're cold. Right. But they also um, need to have adequate housing. It's got to be raised two inches off the ground, okay. three sides, and you know also frozen water does not constitute for water, and all animals have to have food, shelter, care, and water, right. or food, shelter, care, yeah, care and water. Yeah, exactly, and I also saw snow doesn't count either. That doesn't count yeah. either. Not that we're so, seeing much of that right now, but yeah. anyway, yeah, okay, so make sure so. your pet has adequate shelter. Again, if and you're cold, your pets are going to be cold. Yeah, so, I mean, bring them in. Mm -hmm. I mean, they deserve to be warm and... Right, um, and comfortable. Exactly. And so what happens if I'm driving down the street and I see a pet in a backyard and it's it's way too cold out? And I know that. It's too cold. Keep in mind, some some people might let their animals out to exactly. go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So, right. but try and get all the information, or if they're there for an extended period of time, but okay. they're also welcome to call animal control just in case. Um, either in the city or the county as oh, well. Okay. All yes. right. Well, you heard it here. Definitely uh, take care of your pets. Make sure they're inside when it's way too cold. If you're cold, they're cold too. Thank you so much, Janet, Thank for coming you. with us. And if you ever need to contact Young Williams Animal Center, here's their information. You can call them at 865-215-6599. And remember, Daily Daisy and Lily are at the Division Street location. All right, Shay, thank you. I love to see all the dog lovers in here. Yeah. Go, I know exactly where all what, but Daisy looked happy. Very I'm happy. I'm sure Lily is the same as well. So. Yep, I'm sure they have a home probably That's already. So. Yeah. All right, coming up.